Great, so we have just finished row 12. I've already cut off uh, my working yarn from my work. All you have to do now is remove your hook from this loop. In that same space that your marker stitch is coming out of, come in from the back, Take this yarn, loop it over, and pull through the work so it's facing the inside. In the very next space, go ahead and insert your crochet hook from the back. Take your marker tail and pull that through right there. So now both of your yarns are coming through the middle. If you pull, then it will create this nice seamless ending right there. We're going to tie our knot on the inside of the work. And now you will not see the knot on the outside of the work. It makes it very clean. And then you just tuck in the ends right inside right there. Perfect. Okay, so part one of the head is complete. We've got our cube right there, okay? Part two of the head is just an exact duplicate of this square section right here that we're going to make for the bottom. That way when we stuff the polyfill or whatever you're gonna use for stuffing inside, we have something to keep it all in, close it off. Okay, so put that right there. Go ahead and grab your yarn, making another long tail for our marker tail. Again, you can either do the magic ring or you can do the chain two, whichever you would like. If you want to, you can speed through this section. If you already remember how to do this square shape, if not, go ahead and follow along with me and we'll make one more square shape. So I chain two. You can do the magic ring if you want to. We're gonna put eight single crochets in that first chain or inside the magic ring. Okay, and then we're gonna take our tail, pull it through that first loop. It's top of the first chain, yarn over, slip stitch, pull all the way through to close that row, chain one. Okay, putting two single crochets in each space across, ending with 16 single crochets. Fifteen and sixteen. Mark our tail all the way through. Round three is a oh, first we got to slip stitch this round closed, so inserting our hook at the top of the first stitch, pulling the yarn through and slip stitch. Great. Okay, chain one. <clears throat> Round three, we do single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, and that's the pattern. So, single crochet, 
single crochet, increase, which is just two single crochets in the same spot, and then one. And repeat the pattern. One, two, increase one. Or one, one, increase one. and ending with one. Great, mark her tail through. Go ahead and slip stitch the first, top of the first space. There we go. Chain one, row four. Last of this section. So we're gonna, we're gonna do single crochet single crochet, then single, single crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, then double crochet, single crochet, single crochet. So let's do it together. One single crochet, one single crochet, then single crochet, same space, yarn over, double crochet, and same space, treble crochet. So we got one, two, so there's three on that hook, insert in that same space. Now there's four, uh, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through last two. In the next space, we're gonna do a double crochet. And then a single crochet in that same spot. and one single crochet. And that makes that corner. Last space, we're doing a single. Perfect, okay. Take that marker tail, yarn over, pull through. And we are finished with part two of the head. Good job. Okay, grab your scissors. This one, we're gonna wanna leave a long tail. 
because we're going to sew, we're going to take this yarn and attach this part to head, or head part two onto your head part one. So give yourself a lot of slack there. Insert my hook to the top of the first space, yarn over, yarn over, and I'm just going to go ahead and yarn over there and pull that through to create that knot. And then in the next space, right here, I'm going to take my marker tail through to the back. There we go. Gives us that clean look. And then I'll tie this on the back so it stays out of the way. Fabulous. Now we're ready to stuff the cube. Go ahead and take your polyfill or the stuffing of choice and stuff the inside of the head part one. Try not to overstuff for two reasons. One, we don't want it to lose its shape or its form. And two, we also don't want to see any white stuffing coming out between the stitches. All right, the hardest part here, something imp important to note, is you really want to line up your corners. You don't want to just randomly sew the top and the bottom together because that'll also cause it to lose form. You really want to try to line up those corners. So that's why I grabbed these safety pins to aid me in keeping corners together. So if I take this corner, kind of pinch it to keep that corner like all the way up, I'll be able to identify where I need to put the tip of this corner. Grab that. I'm going to slip it underneath the corner there. And there and I'll secure it. Perfect. And then going diagonal, since I only have two safety pins, if you have four, then that's even better. But I only have two, so I'm going to go diagonal. Great. this one and with that corner and touching it there and securing that side as well. Perfect. All right. So grab your yarn needle and the end of your tail. Go ahead and thread the needle. Great. Okay, what you will notice is huh, the yarn isn't on a corner. It's not even in the middle of this side. It's kind of off center. So let's tuck in this part of the tail. Remembering that is that corner. corner right there, all the way to that corner. Perfect. You're going to want to sew, you're not going to want to sew over and around because we want to make this as boxy as possible. So we're going to want to come in from the inside. Okay. Pull that through. 
one to the next one from the outside and then we're going to come in from the back just like that and then <clears throat> from the top down and you can rework in spaces if you want to extra secure because the whole point is that you're going underneath and underneath and we're going to keep keeping that pronounced okay next space underneath those two and let's come down it's going to be really important that you make sure you line up that corner piece if you have to make sure you pull it tight or, or whatnot but you're you want to make sure that the corner space is in line with your corner on part two here remove it there we go and looking at the top because it kind of lays flat slide it underneath there there we go now that I have a free safety pen I'm going to go ahead and secure this side There we go. Perfect. This last side is where you're going to judge if you want to add any more stuffing or not. I highly recommend that you err on the side of extra squishy just so it holds its form. We don't want it overstuffed and then it looks like a giant marshmallow. Okay, so I would err on, err on less filling, but that's completely up to you on what you want to do okay let's go ahead and close this up
I'm running out of tail. But I do have just enough to finish it off. Okay. And last one here. I'm going to make my last stitch go inside the bottom. That way it's not sticking out the side of my, of my head. There we go. Very cool. So now you can see how by doing the sewing the way we did, it helped to create that sharper edge instead of rounding the edge. Okay, so how I knot this, I'll take the needle, stick it in a space, come out again, pull that through, that loop that I am still holding from the other side of the yarn, I'm going to twist it, come in from the back, and I will pull that through. Just creates like a little slip knot, another knot. And then I will reinsert my hook into a space really close to where my yarn is at poke the needle through the other side of the head and pull it through all the way. And I'm going to let that tail get lost in there. And it just secures the stuffing, the polyfill on the inside secures that tail in there. So it's not going anywhere. Perfect. There's our head. Very cool. Let's move on to the body. <laughs> 